Hello, let's look at quite common task adding header or header or total row in the, your filter function or you may use query function or filter function there's no matter that but filter function doesn't have headers by default so we can add uh, headers or totals uh, with the help of curly brackets and with the help of array literal so we can uh, easily choose this if we know how much column we have and if we reproduce the same number of columns uh, in, the, uh, in, in the result. Let's see how we can do it. Okay, let's play with this uh, small sample table as our uh, dummy data set. So we can create a filter uh, when the sum is greater than 5 uh, just to play with it. It's, it will be quite easier. We use these curly brackets to select column because this is the best practice for doing reports as you, each of your column is separately selected uh, so you won't break anything if new column will be added uh, greater than 5 and that's the result. So we have almost all of our rows except of this Sam because he is uh, he's with sum 5 and it's not greater than 5. Works ok and ex expected right now. And if I want to add headers it will be just as simple as adding curly brackets outside the filter. So I will add these headers. I will just uh, give uh, references to these header names because I don't want to repeat them. Then I use semicolon to add new rows uh, below our headers. And that's it, now we have our headers repeated in our filter. But I also want to create uh, something like uh, totals here. Yeah. And um, let's also create a spatial filter for that first, and then I'll uh, show you what we can do with that. Okay. I will use the same filter as this one with the same condition you see uh, but it will be slightly different uh, because we don't need our names uh, but I want to count how much of them are active so it has a check mark so I will use simple formula if this is true then one or zero yeah, or I can use double minus, which will be even more beautiful. Double minus will convert my true false into one and zero sequence. Yeah, like that. So it's the same result here. Uh, now, just I want to add uh, totals by that. But how to add totals? I need to sum up this, sum up this. And here we can use the help of uh, query to do this. I will just create a query and sum up everything inside it. Select sum of column 1, sum, it may be uh, sum, you may uh, write sum, it's not uh, case sensitive, so you can write it uh, with capital S or always lower, sum call 1 and also sum call 1, call 2, but call is capitalized, it's always capitalized and OL is a lower case it is the must so we have our sums but I want to get rid of headers too and I also add spatial labels for these labels one as nothing and label uh, uh, sum two as also as nothing okay now I got uh, my sums but I also need you see this name and it doesn't have totals so I just need to add this like an empty string and also add it inside my array and now I can use it but without this array because I already have one outer array in my formula it is there and so next I can add the semicolon to add new rows of data and I can delete my helper function because I don't need it anymore so now, now I can adjust my formatting so I can see these, these uh, uh, totals. Uh, and by the way, it will be easier for me to read this if I add these totals here. So I can see that this is totals. 
but uh, you can say okay max what if we have another row of data and it is it has great number and it has some name like max i don't know so now it is bold what to do with that no problem we have special word called totals so we can just create a helper formatting yeah i'll select a few rows here then uh, select something like fill color and conditional formatting to add new rule let's see how we can adjust this i'll adjust it by the last row 1000 i'll create special formula and the formula will be e and e is fixed column so it won't uh, move so i added dollar sign just to fix it uh, in, in column E my formula and next you see my range starts with 4 so I need to repeat 4 equals these totals and as you may see it already immediately creates some format and I can adjust it I don't want this I want only to bold this line and now it will work fine I guess it will work fine let's add some more points to Sam to see yeah or let's make few uh, small numbers so my report will adjust and also if i click this i also see new totals but you know my favorite is when totals on the top so you don't even need this formatting tricks with conditional formatting so when your uh, totals are on the top just bring it to the top don't do this here but do this here above your headers uh, to uh, produce your totals on the top so when user sees the report uh, he or she they see totals first so the most important part they see this first and only then they can uh, see details uh, below the totals thanks